Mm. And we are live. Happy Friday. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Bridget from Shift One Degree. And I'm Donna from Big Consulting. So today we're talking about the the five stages of emotion during lockdown. And it's 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 quite interesting because you know we've we've all been through this over the last few months, and I think trying to understand how it impacts us emotionally is very relevant because it impacts our relationships our career, our drive, it impacts everything, you know, and, and lockdown is a global situation, I, I get that, but it's also something that directly impacts every single individual in one way or another, and, and sometimes you might think you're going nuts. So hopefully, after we share some five tips with you on the normal stages of emotion that you go through, you go, actually, maybe I'm not nuts, maybe I'm just kind of doing my thing. I think everyone will figure out that like we all kind of feel the same. Some may be part of it, some may be all of it, but we all like in the same boat. It's like it's not that you're the only one who have that feeling. Like we all the same. And that it, there's not a time frame. So it's not like, okay, for it's gonna be an hour, a day, a week. Like it's kind of like when you go through grief that there is or loss. There's no there's no time frame. It's, you don't you don't know how long it's gonna last. But there are five stages. So yes, the first I'm not sure if everyone started, and maybe you can advise, but I'm not sure if everyone do have all of them. Because I know when I looked at this, I didn't have all of them. But also, like, can you start with one and move to the other? What's like, how does that go? Can you maybe just explain also this? I think, I think, well, the, the research that I uh, than I did was done by from a psychiatrist and my understanding is that this is quite a normal process that maybe maybe that you weren't even aware of maybe you thought it was from something else maybe you thought you know as we go through the stages maybe you thought the first one was you know in relation to something else know, a relationship or a friendship or something else and not thinking it to be around the the corona because yeah it's not a, it's not a normal situation you know to to be locked into your home whether you have a beautiful home or not like it's not it's not normal and whatever is normal I don't even know what normal is but I just know it doesn't feel as for me it doesn't feel as nice as when I'm able to have freedom you know that's a big thing for yeah. me as, you know I don't know if that means anything to anyone else I think it's kind of linked to everything you say here it's kind of finding like a new routine. This is yeah. crazy kind of lifestyle. Exactly. So should we start with the first one, the first emotional yeah. stage? So the first one is disbelief, which I think everybody can relate to because when we were first told, okay, it's going to be locked down, you cannot leave your house, it's literally like you've got to be kidding me. What are you talking about? Like you just actually can't believe. What is, whatever's happening, you just don't believe it. I think like in, it takes time to your mind to get used to that situation. And yeah, I think we just spoke about it before, but if I look at things that I've experienced in my in my life, I think that's why it was a bit more easier for me. So if, for everyone watching us, like just feel free to share with us how you felt. Um, yeah. But a lot of people don't really want to believe in that situation. You know, like my mind goes straight to the next steps, but a lot of people are just like, don't get it yet. Mm -hmm. It takes time to get you to get used to that new lifestyle routine or whatever it's you're going to call it. It's a shock. That's what it is. Because one day you're like that, the next day it's like that. So it's like a shock. Like what? Can't go out? What do you mean? You know? Yeah. Yeah. And that's actually linked to the second one because you have a disbelief of the situation and then you get to the anger stage. Like, because you're getting upset with everything. Like, why does it happen? Why does it need to happen to me? And maybe you lost your job in that time. So you're thinking about this. Maybe you lost lots of clients now because of this. So you're thinking about this as well. There's like a lot of anger because you're looking for something to blame about the new situation. Like you were thinking that maybe your life is going in one direction and now it switched like into another one. And then you don't know what to do with this. So you get to the anger stage. Yeah, and I think the, the the blame is a very, very easy place for us to be just generally with, you know, if we're not if we're not earning the money we want, if we don't have the right relationship, if we don't have the right friends, whatever the case is, it's very it's very, very easy to blame our childhood, our parents, whomever, as opposed to like actually taking the responsibility. Yeah. It's always 
is easy to blame something. And like, you know, we spoke about before, even in grief, it's always easy to blame someone else or something or situation. But bottom line, you know, something happened and you need to deal with this. But I guess that's why I'll link it to the third one that you're going to say. Which is sadness. And I think with sadness, it's okay to cry. Like I, I have found on this, um, on this uh, lockdown journey that like I, have, can, I can have a multiple of emotions throughout the day. And I can pop the crying in there as well. That can be popped in as well. We can just shove that in quite gently. For whatever reason, something can trigger. I can think about something. And, and it's okay to be sad. And it's okay to cry. It's, 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 not, about, it's not about being um weak it's about being able to express yourself freely and go you know what i'm sad and that's actually fine it's okay to be sad you're allowed to and you know what it's like i think we spoke about it a few times it's like a friend of mine once told me because she went to a therapy and the therapist said like you know life is like ekg right because if it's normal it goes up and down and up and down but if it's not normal it goes flat or like only up and yeah. that's part of it and that's life and it's okay to be like having a bad day it's okay to say like today i'm not feeling that way well like today i want to be like in my emotion and that's fine that's part of it you know we all have our moments so just accept it and mm. that's in my opinion like we all have our moments that we're not that happy that we're not unhappy but, like we're not satisfied from where we are and the situation is not making it easy for us like the lockdown mm -hmm. Yeah, um, but but that actually links to the fourth one, which is to ac acceptness. Like you know, accept the situation. That at one point you actually understand that this is the new reality. It takes a long time to get it. For some people less, so for some people more, but you get there. So and that's I think what we spoke before. That for me, I kind of accept the situation in a very early stage. But mm. that's my mindset that was telling me like it is what it is. You know, event plus reaction equal to the outcome. This is happening. Accept it. So I quickly build my own routine from the beginning. But I can see from a lot of my friends and clients that it only recently that a lot of them are starting to actually build their own routine. Mm. Yeah, I think because also it's only coming now. Yeah, and I think with the acceptance, you are more creative, you're calmer you you just you are you look broader you know that acceptance just makes you feel better, so much better about yourself and so much more likely to move forward because you go okay so this is the this is a reality now how can i work with that how can i make the best out of this which ties into the next one which is your final phase which is the hope and optimism and i think when you get to that point i mean i felt like that yesterday when you know there was a lift on restaurants and going out and I thought whoa that is so 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 exciting I, I couldn't wait to get in my car and to drive around and see what restaurant was open and I actually spoke to my mom about um on this Sunday because she's at Nordhook about the two of us you know maybe we could go somewhere for lunch maybe we could just get a takeaway and sit somewhere because normally her and I we meet and we sit in a parking lot for a few hours which is fine that's not ideal though obviously um, so that was so flippant. So that is hope and optimism. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is exciting. You can see on your face, like for people. <laughs> <laughs> it's so silly, but I am excited about that. But I mean, yeah. know that there's no like, it didn't say when it's going to be open. They just spoke mm -hmm. about that this is going to be open. Uh, but I do get it, like what you're saying. And and again, I guess we all, and that's the nice thing. Like if you're going to go over and out of different stages, you're going to realize that. Some of you maybe experience all of them. Some of you maybe yeah. experience some of them. If mm -hmm. I'm being honest with you guys, I only experience the sadness, the acceptance, and the last one that it's open optimism. But I guess it's because that my journey in life got me to a place that, you know, that I need to learn that I can, I need to accept this situation. Then I'm mm -hmm. going to be like, having lots of hope yes i have a moments of sadness and i see nikki here saying that i went straight into acceptance too and optimism with waves of sad and angry throughout and that's a nice thing like we all have it in different waves in different um everyone experiences them differently but at one point you may be going to feel all of them and we're going to repeat them now or maybe just some of them and that's the beauty in life that we all experience things in a different way 
but you can share with us. Yeah, it's I think also with, with each stage to when you can get your point of view with where you're at. So if you are in the first stage, if you are in disbelief, well, if you're still in disbelief, I don't know, that, that's, that would be, well, you know, I'm not judging if it, it is what it is, if that's where you're at. But you know, whatever stage you're at, that's that's also okay. It's it's fine to be where you're at. You don't have to try and be what you're not. Be be what you what you are. Yeah. Um, I did a networking. So I do a biweekly networking event, and I did one yesterday. And I was talking about anxiety, and people were asking me, "Is it okay if I don't put my video on? Is it okay if I don't speak? Is it okay if I'm there, but I I just don't want to engage? I'm going through a lot of stuff." It's like absolutely. Absolutely. There is no, you're not, you're not, it's not, uh, you're not forced to do that. No, if you want to, if you want to partake, do, if you don't, you don't. So yeah, I suppose to stay in acceptance just overall, I think is very powerful. It is. And so if you're going to sum it all up, the five emotional, uh, so the first one you just said. Disbelief. Yes. The second one is anger. Yeah. When you are angry at the situation, you're looking for someone to blame. Mm -hmm. sadness yes and then acceptance that you need to accept the situation mm. and then hope and optimism exactly. yes yeah so if you uh, experience all of them let us know if you experience any one of them or a few of them let us know where did you start with so if mm -hmm. I'm talking about myself I think I started with acceptance and then went to hope and optimism and in between I had my cries and you I think you had all five. <laughs> I don't know. No, I definitely did have all five because I really did. When it first happened, I was like, what are you talking about? I can't leave the house. Are you mad? Yeah. No, no. I've definitely gone through. I, yeah. Sad but true. I've gone, definitely gone through all five. Yeah. And when we, when we're back on Tuesday, we're going to be back uh, discussing around marketing strategies. And yeah. uh, you're going to be giving us some tips on different marketing strategies and I'll give some situations, maybe I'll ask a question. So those of you who are looking to do more marketing for your business, maybe it'd be worth uh, watching. So if you have questions, if you want to go live with us and ask questions about your business, this is the place. You also can put it in your in the comments. We're here to help. So you can help you on the personal development side and the marketing side. So use us. <laughs> Absolutely. Have a good weekend, everyone. Yes. Bye. Bye. Have a lovely weekend.